post-launch, we'll definitely be supporting the game with downloadable content on both the PC and the Xbox 360, um, similar to what we've done with Team Fortress 2 with shipping uh, new missions, new weapons, new achievements, uh, and, and new characters. Can we uh, forecast episodic uh, content? I mean, like uh, Half-Life, some episodes that will download eventually? I, I think uh, the, the thing that makes the most sense in this one is, is the new campaigns, right? Uh, we have sort of these stories, uh, mini-movies, if you will, uh, that are a couple maps strung together in, a, in an environment. So I think uh, probably most likely we'll see uh, maybe new campaign and maybe some new weapons or some new uh, monsters to go with that campaign. Wow, that was a nice image. Deleted. Uh, what can we expect? Can we can we kind of expect uh, you know quite a long storyline then going to be added on later or I mean what's the, what's the plan for it post release? Uh, we're going to keep supporting games like all Valve multiplayer games. We'll just keep supporting it, keep adding, we'll add new maps, we'll add new items, we'll add, just keep acting. And it's great because once it's out, we can get the feedback from the fans and see what they like and how they're interacting with the product and kind of help go down that line of what they're looking for. Excellent. All right, well thanks for that chat and uh, we'll we'll go and play the game. All right, well thank you very much. Thanks. Oh, such a shit. A lot of Valve's success has come from, you know, being very open and supportive of the mod community. Counter-Strike came from the mod community, Dave Batiste came from the mod community, Team Fortress came from the mod community. So a lot of our employees, a lot of our properties came from that community, so with Left 4 Dead we're obviously going to continue that tradition and folks can count on an SDK coming out, you know, a few weeks after launch. Sometimes grown-ups need to lie. <laughs> It's hard to explain. Uh, I might be crazy. I thought Left 4 Dead came out last year. No, 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 no! This can't happen! Um, coming up with, you know, more campaigns, more weapons, more monsters. Probably most likely we'll see uh, maybe new campaign and maybe some new weapons or some new uh, monsters to go with that campaign. Well, you know, we've been working on it since January and we're really excited about it. And the truth! After we shipped Left 4 Dead 1, we started playing with the community, started getting feedback, started talking with the community. A lot of Valve's success has come from, you know, being very open and supportive. Games like all belts, multiplayer games, we'll just keep supporting it, keep adding we'll add new maps, we'll add new items, so we'll just keep adding. Uh, we're going to keep supporting games. Uh, we're going to keep supporting games. Count on an SDK coming out, you know, a few weeks after launch, you know, a few weeks after launch, you know, a few weeks after launch. Um, similar to what we've done with Team Fortress 2 with shipping uh, new missions, new weapons, new achievements, uh, and, and new characters. And similar to what we've done with Team Fortress 2 with Team Fortress 2 with Team Fortress 2. With so a lot of our employees, a lot of our properties came from that community. So with Left 4 Dead, we're obviously going to continue that tradition. So with Left 4 Dead, we're obviously going to continue that tradition. We're obviously we're going to continue that. Uh, we're going to keep supporting games. See, I thought Leopard Day came out last year. The, the thing that makes the most sense in this one is, is the new campaigns and maybe some new weapons or some new uh, monsters to go with that campaign.